Yeah, just let me go. Look at this. Sort of a stupid thing. Way faster. Not even close. Unless you need to activate some something by running through there, but there's nothing that you do that activates. It's just maybe uh, the game recognizes that itself if you activate it or not. Oh, okay, thank you. Thought it screwed me over there again. See, why didn't it screw me over now? If you think about it, why, why didn't it screw me over now? Why did it screw me over before, but not not then? If I miss this jump, oh god. No, as high as possible, please. Okay. Yay! We did it. Alright. Sweet. Ah. Could have gone down like this, right. Okay. Thought maybe it's like way down there. Hey, one more. Yeah, this. Oh, we got 500 from each now, I guess. That's pretty good. So 1500 plus. What was it? 1250 before? Maybe that's 2500 now. That would be good. Yeah, then we would get like 4k from it. But if it's still 1250, that'd be fine as all. Well. Any money is welcome. Any money is welcome, money. Find the exit! Oh, where could it be? Again, could it be the shiny door? 13166. Ah, 1500. Okay, well, it's still 250 more, so. I will not complain. I thought maybe everything doubled, but everything just went over 250. But. 250 on 250, like getting 500 for something that was 250 before is double the price, but getting 250 extra for something that was 1250 before isn't a very big, di big difference, but still. Better than nothing, A. Eh? Alright, let's uh, continue with the mission. Let's see what time it is actually. Alright. Uh, this way for the mission. I'm not gonna do the Templar stuff like I said before. Uh, is there an exit here? Oh, there is. Sweet. No business here. You have no business here. Well, that's why I didn't go there. Actually, we haven't been uh, to a uh, blacksmith for a while, and we have quite a bit of money. Let's have a look. And oh, we can repair our shit as well. Yeah. Uh, oh, an armor. Yeah, that's good armor now as well. Pretty expensive though, not really worth it. Uh, plus we're gonna get Altair's armor pretty soon, so I'm not gonna get anything armor-wise. Um, nothing really that I want. 25k for a pretty, pretty good sword. Milanese. I thought I bought the Captain sword, but well, maybe I did, and then I upgraded to the Milanese sword. I want uh, a fun weapon again, like a mace, but. This one isn't very good, plus it's very expensive. Wow, really? This one is 3 3 3, so that's 9 points total. This one is 4 2 2, so that's 8 points total. And it's twice as. almost twice its price. It's fucking shit. A shitty weapon. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna buy anything from here now, because it's. like everything is worse than what I have, but I will probably buy. Um. What was it? The Shiava Shiavona. Although I kind of want a mace again, or, or some heavy weapon, like the flank mace, just for fun, because it has cool kills and stuff, and the sword is so mash, but it's not very good. Maybe some other time. We could uh, use a dagger a bit more often. Oh wow, that thing is good. Yeah, let's get the notched King Quida. King Sinquida. This thing, let's get it. And I'll have some ammunition, actually, yeah. Alright. 
So let's use our dagger as a standard weapon now, because I'm pretty sure it's better than... <laughs> I pulled out my weapon and then he thought I was gonna attack him. He put it away again. Okay, well, I'll just do this. That's the downside. There's no way to get... I can't go that way. You gotta be joking. There's no way I can get my weapon. Um, without having to go into the quick select thingy. Because I can't just regularly pick it up. Which is pretty annoying. Make sure your money, buddy. That, that took up my thingy a lot though, so I need to t turn on some posters again. I didn't I didn't know it did that, so it's yeah, I guess it's a trade. 1500 bucks for- no, I meant to jump sideways. There you go. 1500 bucks for like, what was it, 75% of this uh, stuff. So you need to watch out when you do it. There's a bribe there. Actually, I'll do that and then I'll be done with it. Got 1500, pay him 500. Still a thousand uh, profit. Seems like a pretty good profit to me. Yeah, whatever. I don't know where the other poster is and I can't be bothered to get it. I think there's water around here somewhere. Here it is. I'm sorry, I'm gonna need this boat. Can we go backwards? Not really. Can we turn around then? Sort of. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I think it the uh, I think the water actually has a um what do you call that? Well, a way that it goes. I'm not sure what you call it in, in, in English, but... Oh crap, I turned a, bit, a little bit too late. Oh, I can't even go in there. Uh, yeah, whatever, I just got off then. Uh, because, yeah, it, it does seem to go slower or faster depending on which way I'm going. There's a guy going there again. I, I can't be bothered. Oh crap, I didn't know there was water down here. I didn't check. Let's get up here. Wait, well, yeah, I need to go back to the villa again at some point. There's quite a bit of money in there. 10k now, it's probably gonna go to 15k soonish though. Ugh, why do I always find the like the most difficult routes to some places? How do uh, how do I get to where I want to go from here? Because I mean, I can't go up buildings. I have to go through the fucking water again. This is why I hate Venice so much in this game. It's such a like, for an Assassin's Creed game, I just don't like it, because, I mean, Assassin's Creed about, is about moving fast through, like, places and stuff, uh, but in Venice, you just can't do that. It makes the whole climbing on buildings pretty much useless. Salute, bello mio, come stai? You back to see me already? Desolato, mia cara, but I am not here to play. I must speak with Antonio. It's urgent. Antonio! Ezio's here! Ezio! Is everything alright? Carlo Grimaldi and the Barbarigo are in league with the one they call the Spaniard. They're going to murder the Doge and replace him with one of their own. They will have all of Venezia, their entire fleet, in their grasp. And they call me a criminal. Then you'll help me. You have me on your side, brother. And the support of all my men. And women. Grazie, amici. But, Ezio, I must warn you. It's not going to be so easy this time. Palazzo Ducale is the most heavily guarded building in Venezia. Not a problem. Is impenetrable. <laughs> mm. This is why we like you, Ezio. Come, let's go take a look. We'll come up with a plan. No, that's why you like me. Not, not we. Discover a way to infiltrate the Palazzo Ducale. Why is it so fun to put on Italian accents? This is so this good. business with the Doge. Terrible. Though, treachery like this no longer surprises me. When I was a child, we were oh, taught going? Sorry, oh, were just go. and kind. I believed it. Though my father was only a cobbler, and my mother a scullery maid, I aspired to be much more. I studied hard. I persevered. But the nobles would never have me. If you are not born one of them, acceptance is impossible. So I ask you, Ezio, who are the true nobles of Venezia? Men like Carlo Grimaldi and Marco Babarigo. No! I say we are the thieves and mercenary. 
and horse. What have we here? While we work Crap. to save this city and its people, the nobles seek to make it their plaything. We need to scout the palazzo carefully. Oops. See it from every angle. We just might find a way in. I know of a tall campanile behind the palazzo. Or we might find a way to climb the back of the basilica. Do you have any ideas? I assume I... the front door is out. <laughs> Va bene. We'll try the front door as well, Saputello. I remember this goddamn mission. I should have done this mission I'll first. My lead. I should have done this mission first with him before uh, doing the um, thing, the, the tomb. Because now w he shows us the way in uh, later. So, what do you think? We're not getting in this way. They'll have time to murder the dodge before we're able to get through all these guards. <sighs> Turn on my light, sorry. Because I think the third or fourth place that he shows us is the actual way where I went in this building before to get to the tomb. Which is pretty dumb. But it's okay, we find our way, found our way eventually. Uh, oh, we need to be up somewhere. Oh, ladder. He's considered a thief, but I'm sure he's not as fast as I am, so... All the way up in this building? God damn. Oh, that's gonna fuck me up. Oh my... I knew that was gonna happen as well. I, I just... that is just dumb. I couldn't do anything about that either, because I couldn't see that thing. Well, I guess I can now, but... It's not really something you pay attention to, is it? No, don't... Okay, good. There we go. It better be all the way on this building, because I don't know, maybe it's like down there and I just didn't check it alright. Um, is there a way up further? Where are you at, fool? What are you doing over there? I don't, I don't see a way that I can get up, get up higher than this, so oh, maybe here. Oh my god. Yeah, here we go. I have to wait for him to get here though. That might take a while. Oh no, he's doing alright now. He's doing he was being a bit dumb just now. Just standing Look at there. that. Archers everywhere. And the walls are impossible to climb on this side. Yep, now I think he shows us the way to um What I where I jumped up before or climbed up before. Is he gonna jump as well? He's, oh, he's gonna climb all the way down. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I probably wouldn't jump you. Pretty sure I wouldn't. Crazy, we're sitting up here. This is nothing, mate. I just jumped off that building. Dumbass. Let's go back. Yeah, just go down. I don't think we have to be up anywhere. It's a bit of a waste to keep climbing up. Boom! Woman, boom! I'm a silly thing. I'm a silly Oh crap, don't lose him. Remember to visit for all your Um Yeah, we're not allowed to be there, but we have to be okay. You up for a swim, mate? You better be. There's a bridge right there if you don't want to swim. Oh, he's gonna take the bridge. <laughs> I guess that does make sense, because the um, guards can't swim either, so I guess the NPCs overall just can't swim. Just me. Bene, we're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding, to the roof yep. of the basilica. Shall we? You know what that is? That's uncanny. Fucking uncanny. Alright, well, thanks for showing us this way that we already knew about. And also, that doesn't really make sense, does it? Because we could have... We could have told him straight away that we know a way <laughs> into this building, or up to this building anyway. Because we already did it, but... Of course, the mission is not programmed that way. So they probably should have made this assassin tomb available to us after this mission. That would have made a little bit more sense, but... It's, uh... What do you call that? Semantics. It's your look! Isn't that him? Grimaldi! Don't you understand what I'm offering you, Signore? Listen to me, please. 
or this will be your last chance. How dare you! I'm sorry. Mi dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diavolo! Fall in. It's impossible. There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. No, oh, this is a mission, I remember. Birds. Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. Yep. Fly. We get to fly. Flying is fun. Sort of spoiled that, but like I said at the beginning, I think I said that in the um, announcement for this Assassin's Creed month, is that I'm pretty sure every single one of you has either played the game or watched the Let's Play of it, or even watched several Let's Plays of it, but you probably know the game at least. That's all I'm trying to say. Although, Archimage Vanguard did say um, that he's gonna watch up until Assassin's Creed 2, so after this one he's gonna stop watching because he hasn't played Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Revelations yet, and neither has he seen a Let's Play of it, and he doesn't want to see a Let's Play of it because he wants to play them himself. Shout out to you, Archmage Vanguard! But, whatever. Uh, where, where can we get up here? Actually, I think I might be able to get to this. Yep. Ah, here we are. Leonardo, how are you doing? I need your help, Leonardo. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? Can it really fly? It's only a prototype, an idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad enough to do a thing like that? Leonardo, I think you just found your madman. Oh, Ezio, you silly goose. So, how does she work? Have you ever watched a bird in flight? It's not about being lighter than air. It's about grace and balance. You must use your body's own weight to control your elevation and direction. Good luck, Ezio. Well, it's the end of the game. Ezio's gonna die now. This is a reef card. Whee! Ooh! Whee! Pretty awesome! Why am I crashing? This is ridiculous! The palazzo's too far away! <laughs> oh, there's nothing I can do anymore! Oh! Diablo, here. I'm gonna end up killing myself before I ever kill another <laughs> Templar! <laughs> that was fun. I can't believe it! It worked! It really worked! You flew, Ezio! You flew! See? But not very far. Well, what were you expecting? The machine wasn't designed for distance. Alright, look. Let me go over my plans here. Maybe I can find some way to extend the duration of the flight. Ezio, my men tell me Carlo has the poison. We must hurry. Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built this... this pezzo di merda. Hey, it's not the machine's fault. It's mine. I checked and rechecked my blueprints. It's just impossible. I don't know how to extend the flight. Da, che idea del cazzo! Eureka! Of course! <laughs> Genio! What is he doing now? It rises. It needs fire. Heated air under its wings will lift the machine. Leonardo, what good is one fire going to do? Not one fire, Ezio. A dozen, built all across the city. Enough to carry you from here all the way to the Palazzo Ducale. How? Ah, oh, capisco. My men could do that, but you are forgetting about the guards. Don't worry, I will take care of them. I'll give the order to have my men move in behind you, and hold the locations. They'll light them all up the second the sun goes down over San Marco. Alright. Take care of the guards so Antonio and his men can light the fires needed to provide lift for the flying machine. Ah, oh, 
I want to fly. I don't want to take care of some stupid guards. Clear the four locations. All right. Well, it's just a good thing I just bought a shit ton of these. Let's go, Ezio. It's a me, Mario. Okay, enough of that. Oh wait, do I need to kill these guys over here? <laughs> well, that's not gonna be too hard, except for these guards are just moving around. Leave me alone, all right? Come on, you could have just. Fear makes you flee. I make you dead. Keep moving. Don't come back. Just go on. What are they doing now? Oh, come on. Okay, whatever. Oh, 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 god. Okay, here we go. Letter. Use a, use use it. There you go. See, it's not so hard. Let me guess, there's water. Oh god! Okay, that worked. Oh. <laughs> he reached pretty far to get that guy. Oh, there's water right here. Damn it. Well, time for a swim. I don't understand how those two guards there had anything to do with clearing the area. I'm not really sure how that works. Because, I mean, they're just guards on the floor, they're, no, they're nothing special. Are they? Alright. Let's uh, start with the furthest one. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to have to run all the way back again. Oh, right, we need to... Ah, okay, I don't understand, but sure, I'll kill this guy as well. And that guy over there. Would you guys... Actually, fuck the coin. I don't care who you are. All right. Uh, there's probably one, the one over there I need to get first, but whatever. Man, these areas are pretty big, I need to clear. Oh, this one is on top somewhere. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Meant to jump sideways, but it's all right. I guess these are all up here or something. Oh, that could have screwed me over. Yep, they're all up here. <laughs> like how his friends were just saying to me, like, get off here, and he's just like, standing here. Damn it. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I'll, I don't care. I'll, I'll use two for knives on you two, whatever. All right, done. One more. Which seems to be... Is that on the boat? This is ridiculous. Vincenzo was supposed to take my ship an hour ago. My wife is going to... I don't want to take the, this chance here of jumping onto the boat. Just go. It's not like we're guarding the doge. What the hell are we guarding anyway? A shipment from China. Some kind of color. They brought over for a big <laughs> Really expensive. You ask me. The way these nobles spend their money. See, I'm not even allowed to be here apparently, because otherwise why, why would those guards be there, but... See you. Alright. Next. 
Those smoke bombs are one of the best inventions in this game ever. They make so they make some stuff so much easier. And um Of course in Revelations you get like way more stuff even to to use, which is like awesome. Although it's you need to make all of it yourself and it's, it's not very complicated, but it, there's just so much stuff that at some point you might get like confused and all that. But just the fact that it gives you so many options to make so many certain bombs and stuff like that, I really like that idea. Don't think I've ever seen it before. Well, at least not in the Assassin's Creed game. I wonder how, how because I mean, Assassin's Creed 3, it's revolutionary, they say. I obviously haven't played it yet, and I haven't watched much of it yet. It's like five minutes of uh, fighting gameplay, but I didn't want to see any more. Because I want everything to be new when I play it myself. But, um... Oh, here we go, my chest is full, I think. Um... Damn it, I'll just fucking keep swimming now, whatever. Um... But yeah, everything's supposed to be revolutionary, and there's supposed to be a whole bunch of new stuff and, and all that. Because, um, it's been in the making for so long. Like, they were making it when they were making Brotherhood and Revelations, I think it's... That's what they say. Um... Because Brotherhood and Revelations were made by a different team, the same company, but a different team, or something like that. Um, so after Assassin's Creed 2, the people from Assassin's Creed 2 started making Assassin's Creed 3, from what I understand, anyway. Is there is there no faster way here? Come on! Stupid water, how far is this anyway? I think we're almost there now, actually. So yeah, I wonder, that's what I'm trying to say, I wonder how many like new things there are in the game. Because it could be pretty cool, like all the new stuff and, and such, but I wonder what kind of new stuff there is. Oh no, a feather. I didn't want the feather. No, don't... What the... What the hell? That was weird. I don't know what I did. I didn't kill the guy. I just jumped on him like an assassination, but without the blade. It's pretty weird. Oh, and now I'm supposed to be up there. That's just great. I keep hearing stuff behind me, but it's like in the game. A 5.1 stereo. I guess that's it. Can I get the fly now, please? It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Now let's hope your idea works, because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. The heat of each one you pass over should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows, or it will be a short trip. I wish there was some way I could use my sword while flying these things. <laughs> well, you do have your feet free. If you get close enough without taking an arrow in the head, maybe you could kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio. 